discover the southern gem of Mindanao, the wellspring of winners, and all its sparkling opportunities beyond the bay. Magandang Jensan! This is General Santos City, a 53,600 hectare land bordered by South Cotabato Province in the west, Sarangani Province in the north and south, and the pristine waters of Sarangani Bay lapping its waves on the eastern border. From the shores to the flatlands, up the rolling hills that comprise the city, the opportunities are boundless and the business climate can only get better. Its strategic location in the BIMP Iaga makes Jensan a suitable prospect for economic development. Geographically in the center of South Cotabato, Sultan Kudarat, Sarangani, General Santos City, or Suxygen Development Region, Jensan, as it is more popularly called, has maximized its full potential as a port city and the business hub of this part of the country. Besides its strategic location making it typhoon-free, it is complete with all the amenities, utilities, resources and institutions to provide for a conducive, growth-oriented and bountiful living. From a shrub called Ladiangas to a landscape of people, history, culture, lifestyle and business opportunities, the transformation of Jensan has become irrepressible. Getting to Jansan is fast and easy. You can fly through the southern skies and land in our International Standard Airport, nestled in a 600 hectare airport reservation area some 18 kilometers away from the city proper. This facility boasts of 3.2 kilometer runway, easily accommodating aircraft such as the Airbus A340 and Boeing B747. If you wish to savor a longer journey, a sea voyage is also highly recommended. With regular weekly voyages to and from Manila, sail into our expanded Makar Wharf, the cleanest in the country and one of the widest with an 851 meter total wharf length. Accessible through interconnected roads to the rest of Mindanao, a land trip to Jansan is not to be missed. An hour away from Corona del City and three hours from Davao City, buses and vans come and go 24-7. And while in Jansan, taxis, public utility jeepneys and tricycles can take you anywhere in the city, making each destination near and convenient. Jansan is home to over half a million generals residing all over the 26 barangays of the city. Diversity is very much evident and has become a means to converge than otherwise. Communicating may sound animated as dialects are varied, but understanding has never been easier. Even beliefs vary from Roman Catholic to Islam to Protestantism, but worship is always one and the same. As a wellspring of winners, Jansan is home to champions and celebrities. Generals are basically a people with competitive character, resilient and warm, as warm and lovely as the experience that the city offers. Business in Jansan is lucrative as it is prolific. Knowing the ropes, however, is essential. Tuna Capital of the Philippines is a well-deserved brand name. Fishing sustains its post as major contributor in the economic boost in Jansan. A top-of-the-line fish port complex is aimed to supply the increasing demand for fish products both for local and foreign markets. All 32 hectares coverage of this facility is functionally designed to accommodate, among others, unloading and marketing of marine products, harbor operations which include maintenance and repair of fishing vessels, and processing and refrigeration activities. 
vital to these businesses are efficient and functional shipping companies and a wide array of means of communication and information in all forms of media. Four existing malls, namely Gaisano Mall, KCC Mall of Jensen, Fitmart and Robinson's Mall, and the addition of SM City Jansan give the generals a variety of options and keep trend setting at an active pace. Think globally, act locally, challenges Mayor Darlene Magnolia Antonino Custodio. In the home front, the SHEEP agenda was a key social tool for social transformation and human empowerment. Decent shelter needs and a number of socialized housing projects have been established, both of the public and private entities, with easy access and complete amenities. Health is always wealth here as well. The rehabilitation of the GSC District Hospital is aimed to provide for better health services coupled with continued capability improvement of health personnel and medical professionals. The city is geared towards learning with over 27 private schools, 87 public schools, both elementary and secondary, and over 27 vocational schools, colleges, and universities. Continuing computer literacy programs likewise prepares the young generals to the challenges of the world. Environment does not take the backseat even. Continued environmental efforts are high priority concerns. Goals are redirected and initiatives are taken to ensure that a functional system of garbage collection and waste regulation is utilized. Meanwhile, the construction of the sanitary landfill is being fast-tracked. Knitting all these together is a greening Jensen project which addresses poverty alleviation while encouraging productivity at the household level. Focused in faith or food always in the home, Various technologies are taught and adapted to primarily increase food supply by utilizing idle land resources and converting surplus or wastes into useful products in a home gardening setup, quality of life is being improved sensibly. Maintaining peace and order is another high premium concern. Here, we choose to be proactive. The police and military are most visible in keeping things in order. The local government unit is taking full responsibility in providing services par excellence. A fine-tuned organizational development program is putting things in its proper place and simplifies public service into its efficient form, thus a more responsive and constituent-friendly government. At the same time, skills and knowledge are enhanced, maximizing manpower potentials. Jansan's festive spirit is embodied by four major festivals distributed throughout the year. And though these festivals are of distinct relevance, they are equally prominent as colors and rhythm, taste and texture, patterns and prints convolute in a true epitome of one vivacious city. Kalilangan, happening in February, commemorates the foundation of the city where history is relieved, culture is showcased, and heritage is given prestige in vibrant tapestry. Yaman Jansan reserves July in taking pride of the wealth of Jansan. The concept of small and medium enterprise encourages every idea and promotes every business opportunity there is. Tuna Festival in September brings to life the city charter anniversary as it ushers the tuna industry further to international foreground with the conduct of Tuna Congress. Pascosa Jensen every December gives every general a month-long reason to celebrate Christmas, creating a city-wide Yuletide atmosphere with a local twist. After bagging the best National Tourism Week celebration in the Philippines, and the well-participated Jansons Eco Carrera as the best tourism event of the Philippines. Tourism in Janson has taken its biggest leap thus far and is keen to make more leaps and bounds. Though categorized as urban, metropolitan living is very much in harmony with fun and relaxation here. 
the people still enjoy the perks of some unhurried moments such as early morning walks, unwinding after a busy day at favorite coffee shops. The newly developed Plaza General Santos, the Freedom Park and the Queen Tuna Park provide venues for play, relaxation and community development integral for health and well-being. These also provide for green spaces and aesthetic additives buffering a busy and rigid facade of the Central Business District. To satiate craving for adventure, one just needs to drive further to the outskirts of the city and discover adventures of the hills or, for a more laid-back moment, sit back, relax and watch the world go by on a hilltop by the seaside. Captivating as it is surrounded by the waters of Sarangani Bay, there is definitely more to discover as one delves deeper into the city. Beyond the Bay is literally and figuratively how Jensan is best experienced. From a developing city by the bay to the wonders beyond the bay, there is certainly more to explore here in this city of endless possibilities and boundless opportunities. Magandang Jensan! Magandang Jensan has been a constant byword. Beyond greetings, beyond words, it is a declaration of conviction, a practice, a goal. It is a statement in every general's mission to create a life of quality in a global city. Magandang Jansan is the city's brand encompassing the city's beauty and character of places, facets, faces. Here in General Santo City, Magandang Jansan means wishing you a beautiful experience. Magandang Jansan! Magandang Jansan! Magandang Jansan! Magandang Jansan! Magandang Jansan! Welcome to General Santo City and savor the experience beyond the bay.